Next we have Maria Souveron. You may have heard here last year. She is the Bolivian ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are in follow the international scene, you will know that Bolivia is a rather significant country. They were the hosts of the Cochabamba Conference. Bolivia are leading lights in the Global South struggle for climate justice. The Bolivian government is pushing harder than anybody really at this very moment in Calcun. If the news from there is not even colder and more heartless than the winter weather here, it is because of people like the Bolivians. So please, here we are in the shivering north, but could we give a really sizzling hot southern welcome to the Bolivian ambassador? Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It's an honor for me to be addressing to you today in order to support the work led by my, my country and to make prevail the conclusions of the People Summit of Cochabamba. Early this year in April, Bolivia held a People Summit on Climate Change and the Rights of Mother Earth, which brought together more than 30,000 people from, from 140 countries to advance effective proposals on climate change in the wake of Copenhagen fiasco. It was inspiring because of the passion and commitment of the delegates and because it was completely focused on tackling climate change and its root causes, too often subjected to intense lobbying by big corporations. The United Nations conferences on climate change are more preoccupied with inventing new market mechanisms to make money rather than stopping climate change. Against this powerful interest, Bolivia believes the only way forward for saving the earth and its people is mass popular pressure like you are doing today. We must insist to our politic political leader that we have the highest expectation from Cancun because nothing less than the future of our grandchildren and children and our planet depends on it. The Earth is an interdependent system in which the human beings are only one of the components. It is not possible to recognize only the right of human part without provoking an imbalance of the whole system. To guarantee these human rights and to restore the harmony with the nature, it is necessary to recognize and to apply the rights of the Mother Earth. The developed countries' principal causers of the climate change, assuming their historical and current responsibility, must recognize and honor the climatic debt in all the dimensions as a base for a just, effective, and scientific solution to the climate change. We reject, as Bolivians, outright the illegitimate agreement of Copenhagen, which allows to these developed countries to offer insufficient reductions of greenhouse gases based on voluntary and individual commitments that violate the environmental integrity of Mother Earth. We only have one time, one chance, one planet. Please let us, our leaders, know and follow my president in order to make this binding agreement in Cancun this year. It's for our lives. Thank you very much.